Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Thomas, and I wanted to show you guys today what I bring with me every time I go and travel. If I go on a day trip and I go shoot, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek and seeing what I bring and what I use. And everything you see today, I will put all the links in the description below. It's not always about the gear, it's about how you use it, and your creative story and vision and your passion. And you can do anything with an iPhone or a GoPro, even though the GoPros are incredible. You see a lot of people using footage from like an A7R2 or a 1DX. You can get the kind of footage and quality like that from a GoPro or a phone. It's pretty incredible how you can use that. So let's jump right into it. So to start off, I use the GoPro Seeker as my main camera bag. This bag has been with me through thick and thin. The rough design and the roomy interior allows me to bring it while hiking and bring it anywhere. And I don't have to worry about my gear getting soaked or my gear getting dirty. The gimbal of choice is the Fujitech G4S. I use this with the GoPro Hero 4 Black. I've been using it for a couple of years now and I'm looking to upgrade to a GoPro GoPro Karma for my Hero 5. Next to that I have a GoPro Casey and this houses all of my battery chargers and spare parts that I don't really want running loose inside my bag. My speaker of choice is the JBL Flip 3. This thing is a perfect size to fit in any travel kit and the sound quality is amazing. And my cameras of choice are the GoPros. Currently I have the GoPro Hero 5, Hero 3 Plus Black, the Hero 4 Session, and then the Hero 4 Black inside the gimbal. These cameras are great. I take them absolutely everywhere I go. The new one's waterproof, but the other ones are just as rugged, and I don't have to worry about breaking them because they're basically indestructible. One of the two poles that I use is the GoPro 3-way. This little guy compresses it into a small handheld grip that I can stuff away in any backpack without taking up too much space, and it extends out to a selfie stick or a follow cam rig. Everywhere I go, I will always bring this carabiner. This allows me to mount my backpack up on a hammock if we need to, or up on a tree branch. It just lets me be versatile and keeping my bag out of harm's way. Alongside of that, I bring multiple tools. So I have the GoPro key wrench thing to tighten down my stuff. Then I have Allen keys. These things I used to bring around because of skateboarding. Now I just keep them in there for safekeeping because you just never know when you're going to need them. Next to that is a little bag that was from the chesty. This thing holds all my screws that I need for the mounts. It holds the long ones and the short ones. A little easy way to keep everything organized and I know exactly where they're at. Alongside of the other tools, I like to bring a multi-tool with me. If you have to bend something back into place or saw something off or tear something, it's really good to be prepared. You just never know when you're going to need it. I also bring all my chargers with me. The old GoPro batteries used to drain like crazy, but the GoPro Hero 5 battery, I've only had to use two batteries per day, which is pretty good compared to the four per day on the Hero 3. I always keep a small stack of batteries at easy reach. So my other batteries are usually stored inside of this bag, but with that, I will usually put them in the front pocket of the GoPro Seeker. It just keeps me uh, from having to mess around through stuff and they're at easy reach. For my Hero 3 Black and my 4, I have a GoPro LCD screen. Now that the Hero 5 has an LCD screen, I don't really have a use for this anymore. Then I have my GoPro Hero 3. One of my favorite mounts is the GoPro hat clip mount. I can mount a GoPro upside down and then put the mouth clip inside my mouth for a first person perspective. Works out pretty great. Next, I always bring a Wi-Fi remote. You just never know when you're gonna need to pair up a few cameras to be all in the same shutter, so you can for sure get the shot but at different angles. For the old GoPro Hero 3 and 4, I always brought a lens cleaner around because you could have direct access to the lens. So I would always clean those before each shot, but now with the Hero 5, I usually just wipe it down with my shirt or I just lick it. When I go out and film for the day, I always bring a knife with me. I always bring it just in case. I don't know if I need to cut something that day, if I need to cut a shoelace, cut my backpack strap to fix it. It's just good to be prepared, especially when you're in the outdoors and hiking around. I like to bring two portable chargers with me at all times. I bring the GoPro portable charger and then the Mophie. These things keep me alive all day, and I haven't had any issues with these dying out when I need them most. I always bring a bunch of business cards. If I'm ever at a restaurant or down at the street and someone needs my contact information, I've got it right here. And then I bring a big Ziploc bag of chargers. This has saved my butt so many times. It's always when I'm hiking too, and I need a certain charger for either one of these guys or old GoPros or even the speaker. It's good to stay alive. And then my two favorite items of this whole kit are my ENO straps and the ENO double nest hammock. I try to use this every single day I go shoot because it's comfortable and it's good to relax and uh, take a break. Get off your feet. I like bringing the GoPro wrist and hand strap. This thing lets me be hands free while I'm climbing or skating around. It's a good utility and you can also mount it on your shoe. I've done that before. 
This chest harness came standard with the GoPro Seeker. It attaches to the front straps, so you can have your chest mounted shots without having the external chest mount. And every single time I shoot, I always bring the Sandmark Metal Edition pole. This is hands down the best GoPro pole I've used. This thing has been through it all. I've fallen, knocked it around, I've tossed it off of stuff. This thing will not break. It's incredible. Every time I go to the beach, I'll bring this guy in and replace it with this. It just ensures that all the really important stuff will stay secure. So I'll put memory cards or phones or whatnot in there. So that is my camera bag and every time I go somewhere for a day or for a trip I will always bring this and this all magically fits inside that GoPro seeker. It's pretty incredible. But I do mount the hammock outside but the straps do go inside. So I'll bring that but then also I'll bring a secondary bag which is this Patagonia GoPro bag that GoPro sent to me. And this houses all of my laptop stuff, so hard drives, MacBook, charger, notebook, speaker, everything. Every time I travel, I always bring these two bags and then another backpack for clothes usually if I'm on a week-long trip. So this bag is incredible. It's got a bunch of pockets, got a big open area. This is great. I'm using it for school right now, but it is one of my day trip bags. And it's really important to stay hydrated. My choice of water bottle is the Hydro Flask. I've had this guy for probably about three, four, five years now. This thing still keeps the ice in the bottle for 24 hours plus. Sometimes I leave it in my car and I find it in the morning and I still have ice in it. It's pretty crazy. I always bring a MacBook charger. It's really important because my MacBook is about four years old now and the battery is not that good so I need to stay charged. Just recently I started using the notebook. I like to write down ideas and I usually type them in my phone. I find it easier to write them on my phone on the spot rather than write it down but it's a thing I want to start doing, so I bring that along, and I always bring extra pens. These things write well, and I always lose them. They just magically disappear. Chapstick is very important. I usually find myself with chapped lips after each hike. Got to keep those going. And then my hard drives. These guys are tanks. So I got a 4 terabyte Western Digital. I've got a 2 terabyte GTEC and then a 4 terabyte Western Digital. This is a Thunderbolt and these are both USB 3.0. And these are just three of the five or six hard drives I have, but these are the ones I always bring with me. This one's like a personal, actually this one's more of like a work YouTube drive. This one's a semi backup, it's semi work. And this one's full personal. This thing is incredibly fast, I love it. I recently just picked up the Mora Robust. I needed a strong knife to meet my needs when I'm out in the outdoors, and this one was the perfect one. It was perfect for any budget kit. I've got my favorite sunglasses. I got these junior year of high school. I won them at the US Open. They're pretty nice. I think they're the Spy Helms. And then the final and most important piece of this whole setup is this MacBook Pro. It's a late 2013 15 inch, and I'll put all the specs in the description. This thing is an absolute tank. It's also one of the best investments I've ever made in my life. This thing plows through footage like it's nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought and what you'd like to see in the future. And again, it's not all about the gear. It's all about your vision and your creative story and your passion. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.